What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Ron and this is MotorTube. If you're stopping by for the first time, smash that subscribe button, turn your notification bell on to stay up to date with my videos and be part of the family. So if you're new to the channel, here are the cars that are on the channel. We have a 2018 Ford Mustang with the 10 speed. This thing is an E85 and an intake. It's making 471 to the wheels. Then we have the Hellcat, 2017 Challenger Hellcat. This thing is on E85, you know, all the, all the good stuff that you could do to them, and it's making 900 to the wheels. So, with that being said, let's start the Mustang, because that's the car we're going to be taking today. It is dirty, I know. It's dirty. We got to clean it, but it is so cold out, so don't want it to freeze. It's literally like 20 degrees out right now, so. But let's get to it and start the car. Shots up of uh, of a bunch of a good one is gonna cost you about you know anywhere from four to six hundred dollars. You know there's expensive ones, but it depends on what your budget is, how much you want to spend. Um, if you go if you go fast consistently and you always you know you're always doing it, you kind of want something that's really good and reliable. Honestly, this Valentine one has failed me one time. It failed me one time, but. It did and it didn't at the same time. I'm gonna tell you guys a quick story in here. So he pulled me over and he gave me, he said he clocked me at a speed way different than the speed I was going. Way less than the speed I was going. So I'm thinking it kind of did work, but again it didn't because he still pulled me over. But then again, he didn't he didn't know my exact speed, which was weird because if this, if this would have told me that he was there, I, I probably wouldn't have did a quick pull. And it, it was like, 2 a.m. Nobody was even around. It was the emptiest road. So like, when you want to do things like that, you, you kind of want to pick a correct environment and time for it. You don't just want to do it when there's traffic. Like right now, there's a little bit of traffic. I'm not gonna do a pull right now until I find a clear road. There's no people, just in case you have to be precaution of maybe somebody pulling out. Um, I don't know somebody changing into your lane somebody breaking somebody on their phone You never know what could happen You always want to be careful when it comes to that because you never want something to happen And then you second-guessing yourself if you could have done something differently That's the worst thing you do is try to live with that live with second-guessing what you you know the, the decisions you should have made but we're getting off topic right now, but but that is a one way you could go about it get a Valentine one get an escort um, there's a bunch of them, honestly. They're pretty good. Usually, KA means cop. It usually, like mine, usually tells me from a good distance, a really good distance. But here's the problem. Here's the problem, though. Laser. A lot of cops use laser, and um, you know the laser gun. And uh, with the radar, the laser is always faster than the radar. The radar can't get the laser before it's happening. So it'll tell you you got lasered, but it'll be too late because you already got lasered. So when he already lasers you and gets your speed, let's say you're going 10 over, lasers you, you're going 10 over, it'll tell you you got lasered on here. 
but it's too late. Now, I don't know if you guys, if there's some of you guys out there that like to run from cops. I personally don't think it's a good idea because no matter how fast you are, you can't beat a radio. So a radio is always gonna catch you no matter no matter where you're gonna go. I mean, you guys seen a bunch of videos of the, the one guy with the Hellcat that tried to run away. He ran out of gas. So, you know, I know he, did, he could've just got out the exit or whatever, but you never know if you even have you know a full tank that day but it's not it's never even a thought to think about running away from the cops it's a terrible idea i would never do that and i wouldn't recommend anybody doing that but that's kind of what this thing is for to even have that light that said you got lasered means um it's telling you that yo you got laser you run away i don't see another reason for them to tell you because it's already too late it's happened to me before that's kind of why the radar is a help and it's not again because now cops are using more of, of the laser gun so that where they stand and they you know try to laser you maybe in the winter not as much because you know they gotta get out of the car or whatever or maybe open the window but in the summertime they use a lot of laser and, and it's you can't stop it i know you there's nothing you could do about it but but there is there is something you could do about it and that's on the next uh number three so let's get into that number three is uh laser jammers so they are illegal in all 50 states but it's weird because you know how it's a federal federal law but again the state has its own laws i don't know if i'm confusing you guys because it, it, this kind of confused me if you're from michigan yes they are legal now there's a few states that they're not legal in so you know while the jammers are illegal in all 50 states due to federal law they are regulated uh by states so current states these devices obviously can't be you know used and they're not legal in it's california colorado illinois minnesota nebraska oklahoma south carolina tennessee texas utah virginia and washington dc so if you're from those states unfortunately it's illegal to have in your state now I'm gonna just tell you guys how you can go around that and um, and I'm gonna tell you guys what the jammers does the jammer simply does this you attach uh, uh, there's two little long plates in the front you can put them behind your grill anything like that and then you can maybe put them if, you, if your state is legal you can put them on your plate in the back like your you know your your frame your cover plate frame or whatever and um, and from there, uh, let's say a cop has his laser gun out, it won't it won't read. It'll just say error for him. So he, he won't know your speed. That's that's the re that's the reason people get them. And I know a bunch of people that have them, and it's simple. It's not gonna get the speed. And once once it says error, there's two things that can happen. The cop could be like, okay, he's using a laser jammer. You know what I'm saying? It's been working on every car. Maybe he's using a laser jammer. Or the cop could be like, something's wrong with the, you know, the laser gun. Let me let me reset it. It could be it, two things could happen. Now, if if it's a if you hit him well, they won't know once they pull you over. Now, it is illegal in those states that I said, but you could go about them in a different way. You could hide them in the grill. They're black pieces, so you could definitely hide them in the grill. And uh, the back, you can hide them as well. Depends what kind of car you have. It's easier to hide in certain cars than the other cars. Now, if you have a grill, like maybe like a vet, where you could put them in the grill, things like that. But you don't want to get caught in them because it's a felony. And if you get caught in them, with them, it's not going to be a good day for you. So cops obviously hate when people try to uh, get in between the law. And that's just going to, you're going to jail. Simple as that. You know, your car probably get towed and you're going to jail. So I don't recommend anybody doing that if you're from those states. But uh, if you want, just hide them well. Simple as that. Now you guys are probably asking how much does it cost for that? <coughs> and it's pretty simple. They cost anywhere from 800 to almost two grand. Depends how how good, you know, of a quality they are you're getting. You know, there's, there's, a, there's a few of them that are like 11 twelve hundred dollars that i i trust getting i trust getting I, I know a few people with them i'm gonna put a bunch of screenshots up for you guys of uh a few ones i recommend and um like i said they're illegal you know by federal law 
but it's regulated by state so you can take that whichever way you want to take it and if you want to do it do it but i think it's the best thing you could do because you're spending like five six hundred dollars on the radar right it's gonna be help here and there it's not gonna always help you out but if you put laser jammers for let's say 1200 bucks so you spend 600 dollars more it's gonna help you because nobody will ever know your speed it's just it's, it just will jam it will jam it so they won't know your speed um i would do like a radar and a jammer at the same time you know to to really be good and that's if somebody like who just speeds all the time but i think even if you don't speed all the all the times you still need it just because it's gonna save you money simple as this the ticket can cost anywhere from 150 to 300 400 right now nobody wants the points so they end up hiring a, ro a lawyer so a lawyer could cost you two three four hundred bucks depending on what kind of ticket it is right you're right there already spending at least six to eight hundred dollars might as well just invest that in the jammers if you're not from any of those states but if you're from any of those states and uh because i know california has crazy laws like the exhaust this and that they make you take it off and all that that's why i will never ever have a car registered in uh in california it just never will happen because they have so many laws it's like man it's it's ridiculous so that's that's my three solutions to not getting speeding tickets i hope it helped you guys and i hope uh you guys got something out of this video because i always wondered and uh if people even wanted to know that but i know i have a car channel and you know there's a lot of racing going on and i'm pretty sure the traffic that i get is from people who race who like racing and there's some people who have bad luck and they just get speeding tickets all the time for no reason and then you'll see like a regular minivan going 100 right next to you and nobody ever pulls them over so those are the three solutions hopefully it helped you out but now we're going to do a few pulls for you guys in the mustang quick 45 pull. let's just say the radar did its job on that pull uh, we're gonna do another one. There you go, guys. That's a 45 and a 50 roll for you guys. My two favorite rolls in the Mustang. It spins so much, as you guys can see. I felt it, even though the PSI is lower to like 20. It's just really, really cold out right now. And um, like I said, I don't expect it to hook because it's ridiculously cold. I'm back home now. We got both of the cars back safe in the garage. So I'm going to end the video here. So I hope you guys got something out of that video and it was good information for you guys of whichever way you guys want to go. Now, if you guys have other solutions, which I don't think there is that many other solutions, or if you guys have any questions about what radar, this and that, ask them in the comments below. A lot of the subscribers are helpful to the other subscribers where they help them out, comment back, so you guys can have a discussion of what you guys think, and let me know. So, anyways, I'll let you guys go. So, if you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, smash that subscribe button, turn your notification bell on to stay up to date with my videos, and be part of the family, and I will see you guys next video. Have a beautiful day, and make sure you guys stay positive. Peace.